Brother Michael McManus has decided to call it a day after teaching at Divine Word University for 16 years. He had a special way of educating aspiring journalists, so much so that every student that has passed through the communication arts journalism stream during his time owes their success to him. He is the man that introduced reporters to the art of writing new scripts. It's, it's, uh, those 16 years have gone very quickly, I must say. Uh, so here we are, I'm at, at the end of those, that time now, and I look back and I see all the, the graduates around here today, including yourself, and I'm very pleased that, that uh, you're enjoying life and doing great things in the media. One thing for sure, he always found fulfilment in the growth of his students. A Marist brother, he will retire to his country of citizenship, Melbourne, Australia. Well, I think that our students have blossomed and really become uh, quite professional, uh, very talented and very hard-working people. So I'm most grateful that that's been the outcome. Former students, including PNG FM's Belinda Cora, expressed gratitude. For myself and my class, we're all standing here. I think we'd like to, first of all, um, thank Brother Michael. Um, we all showed up here because he definitely inspired us to be where we are today for Brother Michael and for what he's instilled in us um, in school. Um, till today, um, we cannot repay back. And for me, he was a brother with a small letter B, as in uh, Maurice's brother, and a capital letter B as a big brother. And he had, uh, he had uh, taught a lot of values, uh, to be Christian first, and to be good citizens, and to be better journalists. This was good. He made sure that it, life at development, especially studying journalism, was fun. I'm sure he's going to be missed by many, um, but yeah, every good, um, good story, good, good chapter comes to an end, but it is end positively. Former lecturer Amanda Watson also summed up the unique ability Brother Michael had with students. He always knew what was happening with all the students. He, he always took that really loving care, I think, and interest. And, I could observe from being a staff member that in the other faculties, in the other departments, they didn't do that. The gathering at Nature Park, Port Moresby, was arranged by the Communication Arts Students Chapter, Kappa. Meredith Kusa, National MTV News.